This is Simran and welcome back to Food Utopia. Before starting today's recipe, I would like to thank you all for helping me reach 350 subscribers. Since Diwali is approaching, we will be making an eggless dryfruit cheesecake. This has amazing flavors, especially with the flavors of dry fruits and cardamom. So without further ado, let's get baking. We will start by making the base crust of the cheesecake. To make this crust, we will need 140 grams of graham crackers or any plain sweet biscuits and one third cup of unsalted butter that is melted. You will start by preheating your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we will make the crust. So you can take a food processor or a mixer and we can start grinding the graham crackers. So you want to make sure to split your crackers or biscuits in half. And you will grind the crackers until they are crumbly. Once you have grinded the crackers, you will pour in the melted butter. And you will mix these together. You can check the texture of your crust by just taking some in your hands and if you press it together, it should be like a dough. You can empty the crust mixture into a spring form cake pan. Then we will flatten out the crust. You can use a flat bottom bowl or you can use any flat sided utensil. So you will just press on the crust. After flattening this out, you will bake this in your oven for around 10 minutes. Once the crust is baked, we will let it cool and you will keep the temperature of your oven at the same temperature which is 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we can start making the cream cheese filling. To make this filling, we will need 1.5 cups of softened cream cheese, one third cup of powdered sugar, 3 fourth cup of heavy cream, 3 fourth cup of condensed milk, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of cardamom extract, 3 tablespoons of plain yogurt, half a teaspoon of lemon or lime zest. This helps to bring out the flavor. 1 teaspoon of lemon or lime juice, 1 tablespoon of cornstarch, 1 teaspoon of cardamom powder, and 7 to 8 ground cashews and almonds. For the decoration of the cheesecake, you can also use whipped cream. To start making the filling, you will take a medium to large sized bowl and you will add in the cream cheese. You will also sift in the powdered sugar. You will beat these together with an electric mixer until it is smooth. After you have done that, you will start adding in some other ingredients. So you will add in the heavy cream. cardamom essence, the yogurt, the lemon juice, the lemon zest, and we will sift in the cornstarch. You will mix all of these together. Lastly, you will fold in the cardamom powder and the grinded almond and cashews. You can spread a small amount of butter or oil on the sides of your pan just in case because the cheesecake might stick to the sides. Then you will pour in the cheesecake filling to the pan. You will spread out the cream cheese filling evenly. Then you will take an oven safe pan in which the cheesecake pan will fit and we will pour in some water. We will 
put this in the oven with the cheesecake pan because the steam helps the cheesecake cook better. We will cover the bottom of the cheesecake pan in foil like this and then you will place it inside the pan that has the water. And you will bake this for around 35 to 40 minutes. Once your cheesecake is baked, you can take it out of the oven and out of the water pan and then you will let it cool for around 5 minutes. After that, you will just slightly cut around the edges. We are doing this because after a while, the cheesecake will sink down and we don't want just the middle to be sinking down. You will cool this at room temperature for 1 hour and then you will put it in your refrigerator for 4 to 5 hours. After the cheesecake has cooled, you can take it out of the fridge and you can loosen the pan. You can then pick up the pan and try to take the bottom of it outside. And then you can serve the cheesecake on a plate. So first you will take a knife and you will take a glass of hot water and you will dip the knife in the hot water. This is to make the cutting of the cheesecake more easy. So you will just slice into the cheesecake. And before cutting the next part, you will dip the knife again in hot water and then you can slice out one piece of the cheesecake. And you can take out the slice that you cut with the same knife or a cake knife. And then you can decorate your cheesecake. I am just doing a swirl of whipped cream. and I'm putting a few almonds on top of it. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Tell me how you liked it in the comments below. If you would like the full recipe, it will be down in the description box. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell icon to get updates on all of my new videos. Make sure to follow my Instagram account. Have a great Diwali and see you in the next video.